Ryan is with the HCC Foundation. He's the Foundation Board Vice Chair of Fundraising, as well as the co-chair of the 2020 Gold Gala. And most importantly, he's got a brand new beard he's sporting. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, Ryan. Thanks, Todd. Hey, Brittany. Good to see you guys. It's good to have you with us here right now. Um, you know, we were talking with Dr. Hodges just a few moments ago, and um, he mentioned uh, a lot of our students are facing some tough times right now. They may have been laid off from their job. Their job may have gone away. It may not be coming back. They're, featured, they're looking at uncertainty, and they, they're going to need that financial help getting back in. And I guess right now what we need to get across to them is that you guys are fully operational in the foundation and you're here to support our students with scholarships. Todd, thanks for bringing that up. I think that's the number one focus we have as a foundation right now is to help our students that are struggling with these unexpected expenses that are happening because of this virus. You know, the foundation launched an emergency relief fund specifically for COVID-19 and these dollars have been placed in our, in our disaster fund. So it's really something we want to get the word out about because as Dr. Hodges said, don't do this alone. If you need help, reach out and we've got resources available. And, and I've been reading in social media, there's a lot of positive response because people have said, look, I applied for these emergency funds and I've already been approved and thank you, you know, and, and the funds can be used from a various uh, number of things, not just for college tuition, correct? Yeah, correct. There's really two main ways that our students are utilizing the funds right now. And the first is through the Swoop to the Rescue program, which helps students meet those unexpected needs they might have. And that could be food, that could be housing, that could be utilities. It doesn't have to be specific to your educational experience at HCC. We just want to make sure you've got the infrastructure in place to learn. And sometimes that takes a lot of different avenues. The other way is through technology. And Dr. Hodges touched on this point, and I want to make sure we underscore it. Um, everybody's transitioning to a remote learning environment. And to do that, you've got to have internet access, you've got to have devices at your disposal. And if you don't have those, reach out to us so we can help you. Can you give us an overview of where we are right now with the funding and the number of students who uh, we're serving right now? Absolutely. Um, we're trying to serve as many students as possible as quickly as possible. And as of last Thursday, um, so the day before the holiday, we had awarded uh, $600,000 to almost wow. 1,700 students. And all of that came from people who are reaching out to us saying, we need the technology support. We have some emergency needs outside of our academics that we need help with. But if we don't get this right now, we're going to be in trouble and we're going to be in jeopardy of losing our standing uh, and, and not being able to learn. So we're happy to step up. And our goal is to do it as quickly as possible. And I think that it's a credit to the staff of the foundation. It's a credit to the employees of HCC that we're able to move as quickly as we have. Um, if, and we can't do these type of donations. You guys work on donations from others to really keep the foundation going. And the message, of course, to anyone who's not a student is we really need your help during these times more than ever because I remember after Harvey, nonprofits really had a hard time surviving because everybody was diverting their dollars to helping themselves. <laughs> or maybe given to the Red Cross or their or instant community. And you had a lot of nonprofits out there that were suffering. And we really need folks to focus on the fact that our students are gonna need this help and they can't do it without the help of others. You know, Todd, HCC is one of the only organizations in the city that's got a plan for right now. We are helping create face masks and face shields for medical technicians and first responders. You can give to that program and serve the immediate need or you can help our students through the Swoop to the Rescue funds that we talked about. Additionally, we're gonna have a need as the economy starts to recover and stores start to open up, we're gonna have a need for students to retrain, re-educate, take a new job on, expand their skill set, And to do that, the best way to support our students in that effort is to go to our website, which is hccsfoundation.org. And if you go to backslash emergency relief, you can see some of the options you have at your disposal right now to make a difference in our community. And as you mentioned, um, you, you kind of touched a bit on how we're making, uh, we're, we're 
raising donations for also PPE and face masks. Can you expand just a little bit on that? Absolutely. It's a wonderful program, and I feel privileged to volunteer with HCC, an organization that's forward thinking enough to see a need in the community, right? All the hospitals are running out of equipment. So what did we do? We repurposed our 3D printers at HCC to be able to make this life-saving medical equipment for the people who need it most. And in my opinion, those medical personnel are our heroes right now. In fact, I have a nurse that lives across the street from my wife and I, and uh, some of our friends put a big sign out in front of her yard that says, a hero lives here. And I think that's a great representation of the way our community is rallying around each other. And if we can get the word out about how to make more of these face shields and face masks, I think that's really gonna take off. You know, you always hear about community colleges uh, working to, to, enforce, to help the workforce by providing trained, skilled workers. Now we're actually responding to the community. Uh, and as Brittany loves to say, it's the community part of our name, Houston Community College. And, and this uh, effort that uh, you guys are helping raise funds for are really proven how we do that. Yeah, it's amazing, Todd, because Houston has about 1.4 million jobs that require more than a high school diploma and less than a four-year degree. That is our sweet spot, and that is what our students are coming to, to us for training and education for. So that's really where we fit. It's very, very, I think the word community is the right way to say it, and Brittany hit the nail on the head. We just want to make sure our students have all the resources they need to get their education. Uh, one final thing, Ryan, if students are watching now and they once again, they need assistance, whether it be for uh, uh, scholarships or this emergency funds, where can they go to find them? Absolutely. Go to the website right now, HCC's website under the financial aid page. There's a link where it says emergency help. Please click on that link and let us know what you need so we can help. Thanks for being here, Ryan. We look forward to having you on the show every Friday. And it's, it's just very important at this time when, when everyone is in need of so many things that we remember our students because they're out there, they're real workers, they are people who may have lost their jobs, but they're trying to better themselves and continue getting education. Thank you, Todd and Brittany, and kudos to all our students for keeping on.